Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Kay, listen, wanted to take you through part one. I have a three part series on trying to navigate VBout. Now, a lot of people, um, they'll purchase VBout, but they're a little overwhelmed because VBout does a lot of things. So what I wanted to do is take you through three easy, simple steps. So this is step one, and I'm going to do step two later. You'll be able to see that up top, or you'll be able to connect with that at the end of this video, or it'll be a link in the description. But the way this works, and the reason why I have this page load up, because this is my first ever page that I built in VBout. And you'll notice that once you build it out, it can be pretty nice, neat, and compact, right? So the thing is on their landing pages, none of their landing pages work without having a form on them. Well, they work, but you can't get anybody into your VBout system without a form. Uh, and the form creates a list and they have to go on a list. So this particular form right here, I'm gonna show you the back end of this form. But this form right here, it's only asking for name and email address, which this is what I have set up here. This is almost like a lead magnet, whereas I'm just trying to gather, get a name and an address for somebody that may be interested, right? And so all I, all I want is a first name and a last name. Never try to go for first, last, social and all that. Just get a, a simple first name and a last name because you use the first name when you're addressing them in your email sequences. So the way this is designed, the way this is set up is, they enter their information there or they can click on any one of these buttons to learn more of what this actual service provides for them. Now, what I'm going to do is take you to the back of the scenes. But here's what you need to understand. Most all of the the VBOUT pages or templates have a form on them because really VBOUT is a marketing uh, platform. So it's, it's, it's designed to gather information. So this particular form, we're going to collect the name, first name and the email. When you click on it on the back, it adds them automatically to a list. The second most important thing is everybody must be added to a list inside the database or they will go nowhere and they won't even make it inside of VBOUT. They have to, once they come in through a form, the form is going to look for a list to add them to. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what happens is once you get inside, the first thing you want to do is the first thing you're going to do before you, I just wanted to show you the end product, but the first thing you need to do for anything in VBout, the first number one thing you need to do outside of setting up your profile and all some of your other basics, you have to set up your mailing address and all of that, because that's where your emails are going to put in your opt out information. Every email that leaves out of VBout and or by the, the laws of emailing people is you must have an opt out information at the bottom of the email if you're going to use any type of service like this. So once you put in all that, your name, email address and address and the basic details, you're going to come to um, you're going to come to lists here. You're going to come to names. I mean, you're going to come to contacts. It's called contacts. And then this is your contact screen. So you can go to all contacts. I have a lot of contacts. So I'm not going to show you here. And then you come to list. You click on list. Inside a list, you give the list a name, right? Um, my new list for YouTube. So people could see that I'm creating that for that. And then you just say what it's, hey, this list is for demo, is for demo purposes, right? And that's what you do there. And then you put in your sender information, default from mail address, default from name, reply to address, and that's it. You have to identify a list because on the other end, when we create that form, that form is going to say, OK, so when the names come in, what list do they go to? You're going to see later on that when we start putting them in a sequence or we start taking them down our automations, the automation is going to always look for a list. So that's that's all I wanted to share with you in this particular uh, setup. But this is part one. And we're going to talk. We're going to start putting the pieces to the puzzle together later on. All right, so I just wanted you to do at least part one. Understand that every form pulls in, the form has to have a list. So the first thing you're gonna do, the first, very first thing you're gonna do is create a list, right? You're gonna come into VBOP, it's your dashboard here. You're gonna come down to contacts, you're gonna click on list. Nothing happens without a list. All right, see you in the next video. Thanks, bye for now.